Hey guys, it's Mark SmittyM14, and um, today's video is going to be basically a um, army list video, building army list video for my next army, which is the United States Marine Corps. Um, I don't have anything completed yet. Um, I actually have three different lists that um, I want to uh, work on. Um, so basically this is just going to be a, a project log of building that army, uh, narrowing down a list or lists, and um, testing out different things and, and seeing where we go. Um, the end result hopefully will be um, a video similar to like what I did for the German Grenadier um, army list where it was completed. I think with the Marine Corps I'll probably end up having uh, at least two different lists that I'll be set on um, and, and possibly possibly three but I do want to do an early uh, Marine Corps list and then a late war Marine Corps list and um, there's really not much difference between the list other than vehicles and adding and taking away a, a couple guys so um, what I'll do <clears throat> is I'll kind of set up the armies as is now and go through each list and um, some of them are painted some of them are prime some of them have their first base coat down some of them are just plastic and need to be primed um, I have some vehicles completed half completed some that are not here um, so when I go through the list I will we'll have some proxies uh, just to give an idea an overall overlook of what the armies are going to look like uh, so that's enough rambling about that without showing you minis. Uh, what I'm going to do next is um, go through each list and kind of show you what I'm looking at. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, just put them in the comments below and I'll be uh, glad to look at them and respond accordingly. So uh, be right back with you and when we're back it'll be list number one. Okay guys, this is a overall view of Army number one for the U.S. Uh, Marine Corps. And I'll go through the list here. Um, as you can see, everything um, is laid out. And like I said before, various stages of painting and completion. Uh, there is going to be one proxy, which the LVT-4 um, is actually going to be pro is proxied for uh, something else. So uh, I'll go into more detail of that when we get to that unit. So, we'll show each unit individually. Um, I won't do uh, close-ups of the painted work. I will do that in a separate video. This is just going to be going over the, the army list. So, we will do a separate video showing off what's painted so far. So, here we go. Uh, first, we have a first lieutenant and assistant. Uh, they are veteran, both armed with rifles. I went with rifles for the range. Um, I went for veterans for survivability. Um, it's the only veteran team in this list. And you may ask why I went with veterans for the, um, <clears throat> for the officer, but it's more survivability. And I ran out of points, and that might be adjusted later if I can find room and, and add something else. But that is the first lieutenant and assistant, both armed with rifles and veterans. Um, then we have a Air Force observer, just by himself. He is regular. And then we have a bazooka team. The bazooka team is regular as well. And then we have a sniper team. And um, with the the list, unless I looked at it wrong, you have to pay their their. They have pistols. The assistant has a pistol, unless you buy an upgrade to a submachine gun. Um, I'd rather have had a rifle. So if I'm incorrect on how that army list works and the building of that, uh, please put a comment below. But. Um, I think it's kind of ridiculous that you have to pay for a submachine gun over a pistol. Um, it should, you should have to pay, f you should have come with a base rifle anyway. Um, but 
every man was issued a rifle, so that just seems silly to me to do that. Um, next we'll go through the infantry squads. There's four squads, and each one is regular, like I said before. <clears throat> so squad number one is an NCO, two BARs, and five riflemen. The three squads, three of the four squads are all built the same layout. NCO, two BARs, five riflemen. Squad number three, once again, NCO, two BARs, and five riflemen. Squad number four is a regular engineer squad. So we have an NCO with a submachine gun, two BARs, four rifles, and the almighty flamethrower. Uh, this will be the I think maybe the first time I've had an army list with an actual flamethrower in it, so it'll be interesting to to play that. Um, and I think it's fairly historically accurate. I want to base this list off of <clears throat> um, Second Marine Division at Tarawa, so they would have had flamethrowers, and I don't think there's anything out of line so far. Uh, so for this army list number one, vehicle-wise, I have the M16. Quad 50, that is regular, so it's 450 cal machine guns, 36 inch range, flak, um, and they're three shots each at plus one pin, so you got 12 shots at plus one pin, should be an infantry chewer and light vehicle um, transport uh, destroyer and, and put some pins on things hopefully. The uh, Next vehicle on the list is actually an LVT. Uh, this is an LVT-4. Uh, this is a little early. Um, this will actually go into the late Marine War list. Um, I did order um, a couple LVTs. Um, unfortunately, Warlord doesn't cover them. Uh, doesn't have them, so I ordered them, I think, from Mad Bob Miniatures. So I look forward to... Uh, to getting those and I'll show those at a different time so the proxy the LVT4 is a proxy for actual LVT which is regular and the last thing that I didn't cover when I was going over infantry and support weapons was the medium mortar team with a spotter so that is Marine Corps Army number one it is actually I think I believe 999 points and that is correct. And 11 order dice. So I'm going to switch out um, a few things and we'll go to list number two. Okay, and here is list number two. This is an early war list as well. Um, I was going to say United States Marine Corps, but obviously this is what this whole video is about. So. I won't say that in the next two. Um, so this is, like I said, early war as well. Going to theme this around the 2nd Marine Division. 2nd um, Marine Regiment, 2nd Battalion. So 222, two, two, uh, which was at Tarawa. They landed at Red Beach 2, if I remember correct. And um, saw some pretty severe fighting, if uh, I remember correct for my reading. So I'll go through the list. This is an overview. You see um, a little bit of changes, more vehicles. Uh, all three vehicles are proxies and we'll go through that in more detail when we get to them. So we'll go over the infantry first. Once again, I didn't change um, the officer. It's still a veteran first lieutenant with assistant, both with, armed with rifles. We have a regular bazooka squad. We have a regular sniper. Once again, the assistance upgraded to a submachine gun. We won't have that chat again. Um, let's see. We have the regular medium mortar team with a spotter. There are some changes in the infantry squads. There's still four squads. Three of them are the same. 
Uh, so we have three regular infantry squads, one NCO, two BARs, four riflemen, and it's the same for each. NCO, two BARs, four riflemen, once again NCO, two BARs, and four riflemen. We also have the regular um, engineer squad, NCO, two BARs, three riflemen, and a flamethrower. So on the infantry squads, I dropped a rifleman from each one, and, and the air observer I dropped as well. So let's go into the vehicles. Uh, you'll see a Sherman there. Sherman's, the Shermans were at uh, Tarawa. Uh, but I'm actually going to do the uh, M3A1 uh, Stuart instead to save points because the Sherman's a lot more points. Uh, the Stuart has Recce, uh, which will be nice on the table. It's a little lighter tank, um, not as heavy hitting as what the Sherman is, but um, at a thousand point list, I think it'll hold its own. Uh, so that'll be a regular. And then we have two LVTs, and just like before, that's the LVT4. Um, and I actually have, uh, like I said, I have, I'll have two LVTs coming from Mad Bob Miniatures. Uh, both of those are going to be regular. Uh, both of those uh, can carry up to, each one can carry up to 24 troops. Uh, it's amphibious. And they both have uh, the upgrades to heavy machine guns. So forward facing arc uh, will have six shots of plus one of 50 cal heavy machine guns. Uh, so um, basically I wanted transports and then the uh, basically a mobile machi mobile machine gun team is is what I wanted. I mean traditionally you would have a machine gun team but uh, the two LVTs um, are going to fill that role and uh, they cost a little bit more but they're also mobile and kind of a dual purpose so and they have some armor they're not the LVT um, is a six plus and I think the LVT4 has a little bit more armor uh, which they uh, put more armor plating on it when they found out the LVT was pretty critical or uh, was sensitive I guess or or not as durable armor wise um, at the landings of Terra while they they started to up armor things so that is that list it is still 11 war dice and 992 points so that's where it is at that at this point in time, like I said, there may be adjustments as we start playing and get things done. So as you can see, list one and two, infantry-wise, there's not huge changes. Just uh, taking out a total of five five guys, So, uh, which is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to have huge differences inf infantry-wise. Um, because uh, the infantry, as we all know, takes a lot longer to paint and, and do. Uh, so a lot of it's going to be swapping vehicles out. Uh, so that's it for the, uh, the second list, which is early war as well. So the first two are early war. Next one I'm going to show you, and the last one is going to be a late war uh, marine list. So let's uh, take a look at that and see what changes um, I have in mind for it. Okay, and here is list number three. Um, like I said previously, this is a late war list. And uh, we'll go through it. Um, there's one proxy vehicle-wise this time. So uh, we'll go through the infantry just like before, and then we'll go over the vehicles, and, and that'll be it. Okay, so once again, we have a... I went with a regular first lieutenant. Um, I had to save on some points, so I bumped him down to regular. Uh, once again, assistant, both equipped with rifles. We have a regular uh, bazooka team. Sorry about that. I was looking at my paper, not the camera. I mean, actually, everything on this list is regular, so I won't. 
go through and say regular each time because uh, it's all regular. We have a sniper team once again um, with a submachine gun upgrade on the assistant. We have the mortar team with spotter and we have a four squad um, platoon which is what it should be. Uh, so there's a little bit of difference um, infantry number wise and makeup wise. So squad number one we have the NCO with the submachine gun and once again these are all regulars. We have three BARs and then we have six infantry in this squad or not six infantry yeah, six rifles, excuse me, infantry with rifles. So once again, it's an NCO with a submachine gun, three BARs, and six rifles. Squad number two is the same makeup, NCO and submachine gun, three BARs, and six rifles. Uh, third squad has NCO, three BARs, and five rifles. So they're short a man. And then last but not least for infantry, we have the engineer squad again. And it's NCO with submachine gun, two BARs, four rifles, and the flamethrower. And and all the lists for the engineer squad, one of the riflemen is the assistant for the flamethrower. So that's a look at the infantry. Next, uh, the Sherman is actually a proxy. Um, I'm going to go with the M3A3 Stuart light tank on this as well. Uh, the light tank, Stuart light tank, uh, Stuart light tank, excuse me, uh, has an A plus armor. And let's see. And plus four penetration value and HE of one. And it has recce as well. Uh, a lot cheaper than the than the Sherman, which is how I have so much more infantry than I normally would. Next, uh, finally, the LVT is not acting as a proxy. The LVT for water buffalo, and um, it's regular, and it has the two uh, 50 cal heavy machine guns on the front, and it transports up to 30. It's amphibious, open top, and has flak as well, and it's seven plus armor. So it is one, one higher armor than the regular LVTs on the early war list, uh, which was to show for them up-armoring uh, the vehicles. So that's it for the late war list. And um, we'll cut away from this and then um, just do a quick commentary and then um, we'll end the video. All right, so that's a look at the three army lists that I'm... Uh, looking at and have set up so far for uh, my United States Marine Corps uh, thousand point list. Um, I think I forgot to mention that last list was 10 order dice and the points uh, were 999 points for that. So um, everything's really close point wise to the thousand mark. Um, the one squad obviously I have eight points to make up. I tried to tinker with a few things to see what I could come close to um, getting a thousand points or closer. Um, a couple of them put me at 1,002 points, and um, I think that was taking out, I can't remember what I was taking out, but that was putting an inexperienced chaplain in, which I thought would be kind of interesting to run since that's fairly new um, in the list. So anyway, uh, that's the three lists. Uh, please feel free to put comments, suggestions, feedback below. Um, like I said, Prior to showing the armies, I have a, obviously I have a few things painted, uh, so I will do a separate video uh, showing off a um, uh, showing off what I have painted and what I have done, and um, I'll just continue this vlog um, of the progress I make, and and we'll go from there, and uh, hopefully, probably won't get very many games in with it uh, before the uh, bug eater tournament in Omaha because I really the games I do want to 
get in before that or do get in before that, I want to focus on using my German since that's what I'll be taking and get some more practice with that. So um, once that's over, then the Marines are going to hit the table if they're done and and we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for taking a look at this. I hope everybody's doing well. Take care of yourselves. And um, until next time, happy hobby time.